Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make this shelf. Okay, so first thing you need to do is take all the pieces that you have and you can get this in a kit. I'll leave the link below. And I've made it pretty simple for you with these little notches in here for the back since they won't show because they are on the back. Is, um, you want to take these notches and you want to line them up with these two little notches on the shelf boards. Go ahead and put a little bit of glue right along the back. And then you're going to place it right in the first notch. Now to make sure it's square, I'm going to be using the little square up tool. Just to kind of keep it in place until that glue sets. That way it stays straight. All right, you want to repeat that process all the way down. Try not to get excessive, but that glue like that just came out on me. All right, put it in there. And again, hold that till it's square. Repeat that for these two. All right, now the next step is to take your sides and you wanna take the pattern side and leave it on the out and then the MDF side and leave it on the in. And if you're painting, it doesn't really matter which side you put where. But you're gonna put a little bit of glue right along your shelves. Not a lot, just a thin line. And then the back side of the shelf gets glue. Now you want to take your tool and you want to hold at the bottom to make sure you're level all the way across. If you don't have this, you can get it on my um, store or you can just use a flat surface or something that's already square. All right, repeat that process for this side. All right, it should look something like this. Right, your next step is you're going to put the top piece here. So you want to go ahead and put a little bit of glue just right along there and right along the edge here. And then you're going to slide this with the pattern side down. Once you've done that, push it in and then push it on a flat surface just like that. All right, next step is to take your face board, flip it over, pattern side is gonna go up, and you're gonna glue that nice and even with that line. And I'm gonna try and hold it to where you can see it. hard to hold it while you guys are looking at it but you want to glue it where it's nice and even here and even along here so it's not outside of that edge and what I'm gonna do so it has a little bit of extra support is I'm gonna take some glue some wood glue and I'm just gonna put a thin line straight across that bottom Okay, and take my finger and just rub off the excess. Now, the next step is you're going to put some glue just on the outside edge.
And then you want to put a little bit of glue right along the edge of this. Try not to make it go over onto the board. Okay, before you let it set, turn it upright before you let it touch on a flat surface so that you get it straight. Press this all the way down to the flat surface and then squeeze it together. Should be even along the edge and it should be squared. This should be flat even here. Should not be any gap there. Got a little glue on there. But there you go. Now for the last part is the top. This is the bigger one of all of them. You're gonna go ahead and put, make sure it fits, but make sure you grab the right one. Put a little bit of glue on there. Now I like to do a combination of glue with this one. Now you're gonna let it overhang about one eighth inch on each side. And you can use the spacer tool for this if you have this set because it's one eighth inch wide. And press it down to the ground or the tabletop. And there you have a nice shelf. Alright, stay tuned for part three and we'll finish up the sew and shop with the bookshelves. Thanks a lot. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a question, suggestion, or comment below, and I'll see you in the next video.